using Tinker Workshop. In this video, we'll explore Tinker Workshop to build your own projects. You can launch Tinker Workshop under the My Projects tab and selecting Create a Project. The workshop is where you design and build your programs. Before you get started creating cool games and animations, you need to become familiar with how to use the workshop. The stage is where you will see your program run by pressing play or stop by hitting stop. It's where all the visual parts of your program come together so you can see how it looks. At any point, you can see all of the actors you've added to your project in the actors window just below the stage. You can add or create your own actor by using the add actor button. When you want to add new actors, click add actor and choose media library. The media library contains thousands of images of backgrounds, scenes, people, and animals. It even has music and sounds to make your project come alive. You can create your own actors by clicking Add Actor and selecting Draw Your Own. Here you can use the drawing tool to draw whatever you'd like. Use the pencil tool to draw by clicking and dragging your mouse. Or even use the other tools like the circle and rectangle tools. When you're done, click Save and your new custom actor will be in the Actors tab and on the stage. Don't forget you can rename the actor too. Adding a background is a way to make your project more unique and exciting. You can give another look to an actor by adding a costume to it. Costumes are used to create new animations. If you want to make a puppy walk, you can add a bunch of costumes to show a different step in the animation. Now let's take a look at the actions window. This is where you drag and drop code to make your actors do cool stuff. There are a number of code blocks that you can use. Some of these include functions, motion, variables, and more. Code blocks are what give you the control to make your project do what you want it to. Finally, the top bar will show the home button which will take you back to the main page, and the Save button. Use the File and Edit menus to access actions such as Save, Undo, and Redo. In the Tools menu, you can find some of Tinker's advanced project tools. Hit Save to name your project and add a description. If we exit out of the project after saving, you'll see that we can find it in My Projects. Click on it and we are brought back to the project. Now that you know all about the Tinker Workshop, you're ready to start tinkering.